Oh, what is up, guys? <laughs> Let's go for a drive, guys. We must move that thing out, or shall we just push it out the way? <laughs> Now we're repolishing, especially on the fender because we've got to put those other babies on there, which is spray grey now. Hood's almost done, so yeah, I'll paint nice and hard. Lacquer polish, 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 and then we will put the the beadings on. All the beadings. And I've got the new rubbers for those, so that'll look quite nice, I think. I think it'll look quite nice. There you go. Yeah, the honor. We made up. Yeah, it's looking nice. Just going to carpet the inside properly there now, I don't like that other shit. Okay, that's great. It's all polished now. Looking really, really nice. Basically ready now for the rails that go on here. I'm gonna still get one more of these things for the other side. Niggly little shit. This I must tack under. We've got to do something underneath here later on. That must still go on. So soon we've running out of parts to put on this car. Eh? <laughs> eh? Unbelievable. We got it this far. Anyway. And it's running like a dream now. You see, we've done this because you can't pull this down any other way. Okay. You check. Windows in. Um, we had that door panel off a couple of times. See, and I've finished it like this. With this, I'm still through underneath here. And this one must change to the other side. Okay. But it's so fucking nice, man. Listen to this engine now. The bulbs are still 24 yeah, volts. I haven't had a chance to get the 40 wheel to get the new bulb. And then <clears throat> I've got, I showed you I've got the rubber for these things, eh? Mm. Yeah. 
So that's got to go on. And uh, trying to be busy mounting the running board stick. And then the rubbers are going to go in. Get rid of these buggers on. We've got the correct profile here, which is the same as in the boot of an E-Type. It can fit in there. Anyway. Alright, last lady for a shave. That's looking so nice, it's going to finish it beautifully. Okay, so that looks pretty clean. I've got to get the rubbers in. What a mission to get this right. And the spacing, so you know, looks okay there. Where's that one? Then we don't scratch the fenders with our shoes anymore. Yeah. So, all right, Gerald, excellent. Ah, nice is that. We've got the rubbers on there from an E-type. The door does just clear it. <laughs> Excellent. I'm just going to finish the bonnet, the soft top, then we do the brakes, and then we go fake it for a drive. Lekker. <coughs> lekker, 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 lekker. Very nice. Very nice. And I think the grey worked quite well as well there. Yeah? Yeah? No, no, it's turned out beautiful. Everybody says it's turned out so beautiful. Right, so we've got this one drag link here now, but it had the complete wrong tie rod in on the one side. So, found another one, which will fit onto the steering box. So now we've got to modify it, so that it fits in here. See the cone here is much thicker than the one that was in here. It was a much thinner cone, so they had a lot of play on the steering, <coughs> which we've got to sort out. Done the brakes today. And we're just about ready to drive this thing. Once we get this car out of the way, which we're waiting for a radiator for. So, a bit of out-of-the-box engineering here. Okay, so we've had to weld the stud in there. And... Uh, Put a bolt through it as well because otherwise the threads won't work. Well, that's then going to go in here, and hopefully we get rid of a bit of the play. There we go. Right, so we've made up a complete new drag link. Just hold it there, Gerald. We're at two tie rod ends of a Isuzu KB 4x4 Bucky. <laughs> so let's see now if we get rid of the bloody steering play here. All right, Gerald fitting it in now. We'll test the steering, and then we're going to drive it backwards and forwards a couple of times and see how the brakes uh, are working before we go and take it for a drive when we when we can. You know, this almost the whole day now. And then we still got to see the car doesn't pull left or right and stuff like that that's going to be very interesting anyway cool okay so we've made up this drag link that turns the wheel from the steering box shaft over there but now we've got a problem okay turn the steering gerald all the way to one side it's fine turning the wheel but to the other side now it's boom, knocks on the bloody brake line so the shaft's a bit too long yeah go the other way again so we have to take it out again and modify it some more which is going to be interesting so we get the center point of the steering box so we've got to figure out where that's got to be somewhere like there anyway that's another project for today all right cool oh i didn't video it okay so that's what we're doing modifying the shaft now again Okay, so there's now the new link. We can 
screw those things out now and then we also have to do the wheel alignment if we have to so this now should stop the steering from knocking onto the leaf springs and onto the brake lever so this is D-Day this is D-Day on the 29th of February 2024 a year later and this is going to be the first drive out of the garage and let's hope for the best come on bring it out then <laughs> <laughs> 